Good morning, Arthur Alfredi, ASNI TV. Uh, again, that spineless, toothless organisation called the Parades Commission has rolled over and allowed Sinn Féin not one parade, but two, on the 9th and the 11th of August, costing us, the taxpayer, more money. I don't know what hold Sinn Féin ARA have over the Parades Commission, but now is the time for the decent members of the public to get rid of them. And if that offends the leaders of Sinn Féin ARA, so what? I think their old chum, Matt Baggett, has forgotten that this is the same group that robbed the bank of £26 million. Surely they have enough money left over today for the pay for their own marches and not the public purse. We have had 16 years of an agreement of some sort. It only works when we have some visitors from America or Britain coming to visit us. Then you get our so-called politicians out in force, like the G. H. Sham. You had Wilson and Adams in the Odyssey holding hands and doing the Mexican wave and smiling like two Cheshire cats. And in the balcony facing them, you had Waldorf and Stadler, our two Muppets, sitting side by side, all for a show to let the media think that everything is going well. Then you get the DUP MLA Ruth Patterson, who offended Sinn Féin ARA uh, on Facebook, and her boss, Peter Robinson, made her apologise to Sinn Féin ARA. For what, she said. So much for one's freedom of speech. But then Peter doesn't want to offend his chum. Then you get our new finance minister saying we need to cut public spending, yet we are paying for two marches for Sinn Féin ARA. Then the Matt Baggett has a had has a face a face to face meeting with McGurk's protesters. Yet he won't meet me. But of course they have the backings of Sinn Féin ARA. And Matt Baggett doesn't want to offend him. His chums. It was Sinn Féin ARA and Matt's special branch who murdered my father 40 years ago. I have had no help from any organisation at all. Once again, Matt Baggett and his police force have arrested Ruth Patterson for speaking her mind. But of course he has to appease his friends who have been offended by what we said. So in future we have to watch every word we say about this group. Who do, you, who do they think they are? So much for loyalty by Arlene Foster to another member of the DUP. Or maybe Ruth said what Arlene and other members of the DUP are thinking but haven't got the courage to say it. Uh, Ruth was held for 12 hours and later charged with a crime. She is to appear in court on the, the late August. Jerry Kelly and another Sinn Féin area minister who tried to stop a police jeep taking away a rider. Kelly jumping on the hood of the bonnet, the bonnet of the car. Yet the police did make a big scene arresting those two. And that was three weeks ago. No charges have been made yet. You have to ask our Chief Constable why arrest one person and not arrest the other, other two. Uh, last but not least, uh, I found a young seagull who could not fly. After many attempts it could not fly off. I phoned the NSPCA I got through after waiting for a half an hour. Then a man spoke. I told him the story and he says he couldn't help me because they were short of funding and that they would not be able to send anyone. 
But I could get a blanket and throw it over the, the head of a seagull and take it to a vet. Makes you wonder how the NSPCA calls itself a charity. I then phoned a vet who was on call duty, but she could not help me as she was on her own in the office and could not leave the office empty. I understood that. Then I phoned the police. After going through three stations, I got some sergeant in Castlereagh who uh, listened to my story. He says it was not police work to rescue birds. I says I didn't want him to rescue. I wanted to make some him to make me some suggestions of what I could do. He just did not want to be bothered. So I said to him, uh, if it was a protest, him and as many other police would be willing to go. But of course, that would be overtime for them. Helping a wounded bird would be voluntary and no money involved. With services like the NSPCA and our police, God help any animal looking for help from them. They are a joke. Uh, I was listening to Sunday sequence uh, on Sunday, the 4th of August. About 24 Al-Qaeda prisoners escaped from a prison in Pakistan. Now, Obama and his warmonger friends, including Britain, have closed all embassies for fear of an attack. A handful of Al-Qaeda escaped on a big nation like America with all their bombs and large armies, panics and goes into shock. That's what you get for telling lies about Iraq. Speaking about our new Pope, who admits to making mistakes that caused two priests to be arrested and sacked because they would not do what he told them. He said he repented and it made him a better and a more humble man. I have to agree with him. I would like the Pope to make some serious changes to the Catholic Church in Northern Ireland. Our present bishop trainer and a lot of his priests, I find, are very cozy with known terrorists now working and acting as politicians in Stormont. This bishop had no time to see me after an incident in St Peter's in West Belfast where I had to leave both the church and my advice centre. But he could make time to meet and shake hands with Jerry Evans and have his picture taken opening a school with McGuinness. Now, now I find that a Palestinian has been invited to visit West Belfast and to give a speech at St Mary's College on the Falls Road to speak about rights. These people who born the Jewish people day and night, let me say, I have no love for the Jews because they do the same thing with the Palestinian people. So where is the so there is no difference between both parties. I suppose the Palestinian sp uh, speaker was invaded by Sinn Féin ARA because there is something similar between them. After all, they both bombed and killed innocent men, women and children with no warning bombs like Sinn Féin ARA done at Smithfield bus station and many other targets in Belfast. And for the Catholic Church and Bishop Turner to allow him to use a Catholic college to spread his hatred of the Jews, were, were Jews, is a total disgrace. But what can you expect from our present crop of clergy and churches in Belfast? Another thing I would like to ask, if anyone knows how and why and who, pays for the flags of the Palestinian people to be uh, flown along with tricolours on in West Belfast and the Jewish flags to be fl flown uh, along with the Union Jack in Loyal Series. I would like them to let me know because I would like to know where the money is coming from to buy those flags. I just hope it's not the Belfast City Council who, after all I know, they supply money for flags but that would be entirely wrong to do that. Thank you for listening to me. Uh, 
I will speak to you soon.